and in entertainment news, a group Benin youth are calling on the Edo state government to return the stolen artifacts to the palace and to the Oba of Benin. They say the artworks were stolen by British in the 19th century. The coordinator of the group, Colin Sosai, said the UK government has agreed to return stolen artifacts that was forcefully taken away from Oba Palace. On his part, the president of Benin Solidarity Movement, Egosa Upo, noted that the artifacts have spiritual implication Edo people and that it must be returned. They also claim that the federal government, the Ministry of Culture and Tourism, and the Edo state government plan to extort the people under the guise of building a national museum. They have agreed to return back what they took forcefully from where it was taken, Oba Palace. And some elements in the name of government are trying to make dollars and euro from this by trying to use the federal government through the Ministry of Culture and Tourism in the name of building a national museum and a structure where the youth reject in totality any art of wanting to be smart by a do state government headed by Mr. Godwin Obaseki to reintroduce the invasion of the Benin Kingdom for the second time. Those artifacts have spiritual implication on our people. And those artifacts must return back to where they were stolen from. Which our Oba of Bini, Oba Atokwe, he said, has already proposed a site for that museum to be built opposite the Oba of Bini Palace that people across the world can come and visit. Those things belong to us, not to Edo State Government. Edo State Government was never there. Nigeria as a country was never there. Although the colonial masters who enslaved us then and stole those things from us already and had their own administration online. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.